Hello Leos, how are you? I know you guys are probably mad at me because you didn't get first dibs on readings um, this month, but I don't know why. I just wasn't called to do your reading until now, so maybe that's just, you guys didn't need me till now, okay? So we're gonna get right into it, Leos. We're gonna see what's going on for family, love, and money in the month of November for you, okay? Hopefully we get some good cards. Oh. We have one card out, and my sage fell, so that's obviously a very powerful card, whatever it is. I'm trying to get this sage under control. I'm going to put it out over here. Okay. Thanks, guys, for bearing with me. I have the Page of Cups as the first card out. Move these over. So, an offer, but the fish. Dun, dun, dun. Aries was also getting this energy, so some of you could be dealing with an Aries. All right, we have King of Pentacles showing up already. You guys always have the King of Pentacles showing up. Uh, it's usually a, a Capricorn for some of you or a Taurus. Some of you could be a Virgo though. But you guys seemingly always have like Kings of Cups or Kings of Pentacles. You have the Wheel of Fortune and it's in reverse for family. That's odd. All right. So there's a change that needs to take place in family life, but it's not happening yet. All right, Five of Pentacles. Interesting. So for some of you feeling left in the cold by your lover, um, your lover may also be feeling this way. I also feel like for some of you, there may be some financial factors. Um, taking place in your love life this month okay but don't fret we're gonna look into your love life a little bit more in the next spread so we can see where this five of pentacles energy is coming from all right i don't think it is money though but let's see what our money card is we have money card for leo please a money card for Leo. I'm so mad that first card was so powerful that it knocked my sage over, but I probably needed it to. Four of Swords. So I feel like, I mean, honestly, you're comfortable this month. You have the Six of Wands. I swear, like, I've seen this card a lot. Um, even in the Thoth Tarot deck, I've been seeing the Six of Wands a lot. Um, so victory overall. Um, you have the Four of Swords for money. So I feel like you're kind of chilling. Um, to be honest, I feel like if your finances were that bad, you wouldn't be in a sense in the Four of Swords energy. You'd be more like maybe the Nine of Swords or um, maybe this would be here, the Five of Pentacles. This could all be related though. I do see a, a trend here with the energy. Um, but for the most part, for work, I feel that maybe some of you may be dealing with unemployment. If you are with the Six of Wands and the Page of Cups here, that may be some sort of offer coming in for you. So I feel like you are being asked to really consider um, taking a break, a lot of you, because a lot of you have been working hard, myself included, hi Leos. <laughs> um, but you may be called to kind of like take a break or for some of you travel, um, it may be for work, but pleasure as well. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, um, some of you are dealing with an air sign. I see that energy here. I'm hearing Gemini um, or Libra. There's also a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. There's actually probably a very immature water sign for some of you in your life. Um, I feel like this person is older, but they act very immature. They may be a Pisces or a Scorpio that's coming up. Um, I feel like a pestering energy where that's concerned, so that may get annoying throughout the month. Um, you're also, for some of you, really dealing with someone who's actually um, less mature than you. They may tell you in some childish way that they care for you. Um, you know, I'm going to be honest, Leos, we do need a little bit more than a page of cups. I mean, you guys already know how I feel about pages, and I also feel like the Knight of Cups would be a lot better energy. Um, but I also feel that for some of you, this may be the need for a reconciliation with a partner that you may have some sort of... Um, break with you're you're at a separation you're not talking because of conflict whatever or your partner's pulled away for some reason um the wheel of fortune is also in reverse so for family um if this is not related to your relationship and it's about family then i feel your family for most of you are on like an apex of change like being able to really change your family's lives collectively 
but there's some energy holding that back okay the wheel of fortune is actually pretty good what i see in family for some of you it could be like more money coming into the family or money coming towards the family the ability to create more money um or level up as a family but this usually takes healing on a family level so this could mean that some of you may need to go to therapy with your family or have some sort of like consultation or you know where you guys sit around and talk and discuss your issues but there's some energy that's holding your family back collectively and i feel like honestly i'm hearing generational things that need to be taken care of in order for this to be moved forward a lot of you were born into very strong ancestral lines and you have very strong ancestral paths so this could be um a part of that so um but for you those of you that that's not really you're not close to your family you know that may not apply to you or this does also apply to your love life um this also means that you and your partner have a significant amount of karma to play out together in my opinion but something is holding the partnership back some of this four of swords and five of pentacles is energy maybe okay i do feel like to be honest with you go though um you and this person may interact with each other on a more immature level as in no one really wants to show their full hand or no one really wants to fully invest emotionally in the connection but just keep in mind with the six of wands here i do feel like this is a really pretty big month for you overall you will be victorious regardless of the struggles that you may face because there, this month isn't going to be just easy okay um but i do feel like you will succeed you know and that's not crazy for us we succeed pretty well all right so let's see <clears throat> let's see what's going on with leo and their partners this month all right leo's and their partners so with leo's and their partners three of wands okay who else was getting this um aries again was getting this so some of you are definitely dealing with a fire energy sagittarius maybe but aries all right three two. some of y'all are in i'm here in love triangles with all fire oh my god Whew. that's hot okay so that's a lot going on anyway so you have the Knight of Disc, um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, younger than you for some of you, or just a very slow moving person, slow moving connection even. This also, this both, these are both cards of waiting for someone or waiting in general. I mean, in love, I would say it's waiting for someone, particularly an earth sign. And what did I say, guys? Didn't I just say I've been seeing this card a lot, even in the Thoth Tarot? This is freaking creepy. Okay. One of these days, I'm not going to be creeped out by these cards. I don't know. Things like this creep me out. But, um, yeah. So, Six of Wands, again. I've been seeing these cards a lot. So, just so you guys like, you haven't been seeing them. Yes, I have. Okay. So, Six of Wands is definitely applying to love here as well. So, good to know. Victory is ours, Leo. Prince of Cups. So, you guys got that Page of Cups card pretty much again. That was crowning your energy. That's kind of how I see this. Even though, I, I mean, to be honest, this would be the Knight of Cups in my opinion the princess of cups would be more of a page of cups but it's interesting there's an offer coming in from someone prince of wands so you have a sagittarius energy for some of you but this is also going moving forward um i'm not gonna be, you're not gonna really be able to see these cards very well because i'm recording these as the sun goes down um so i'm losing a lot of natural light but this is a card of someone pulling actually the leo energy is in this card as well the lion is here but forward movement it's kind of like a chariot card i don't know if you guys can see that but yeah so someone who's younger than you possibly but also um very fiery impulsive but sagittarius energy either way you both have a drive to move forward okay temperance in the past sagittarius again but also the need to wait for something you guys have been waiting to move forward with this person for a little while here knight of wands okay here he is again the same type of energy um the knight of wands okay forward movement like 
you guys are really trying to like make it happen okay gemini also was getting this energy so some of you are dealing with a gemini this is a very strong connection that needs to move forward now it's like it needs to go you need to go move forward you have the prince of disc so a princess of disc sorry so an offer you may be offering love to this person and they may be offering love to you it seems to be something tangible for some of you um for some of you it could be commitment okay so we have the three of cups so this i'm going to choose to look at this as a positive energy we already know that for some of you out there this is a third party energy i'm really going to try you guys to start separating um the third party energy from these general readings if they come up they come up but i do um third party readings so you know if you're in a third party you can you know concentrate on those readings but i am trying to keep these more about just the energy um if you're you know relationship wise because this could if you are in a third party this could be either one of your partners that you're dealing with or you know the energy could be vice versa as well but i'm going to look at this more of um this is a card of abundance in this deck so i'm going to look at this as a more positive energy because even with the six of wands and all this forward movement it's like you guys have been uh trying to move forward and it's like you finally got there like victory is ours yes you have the two of swords okay oppression or no this is the ten of swords i always do that sorry this is the ten of swords i think i've done this on the leo reading too many times i always get stumped on this card and i don't know why the two of swords look completely different in this deck this is the ten of swords okay so some of you may be worried that um your partner is ready to end things maybe because you've been waiting for a little while for them to show affection or to make an offer so some of you may be worried that um your partner is going to end things or you could be experiencing an ending with one of your parties if it is a third party situation so that now you can move forward freely in your um new partnership wow guys you guys i'm not even joking with you i'm not going to show you this card because it would make my forward movement comment so valid but since i love you guys i'll show you it's the chariot it is time to move forward like i said you guys i want to show you something really quick you have the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck i forgot to tell you that which we talked about this in the first spread right wheel of fortune in reverse this is in the upright so i feel like love was really coming through that general energy take it how it comes and, and take what resonated but i feel like that was really heavy for um general love energy hold on one second guys i gotta let my dog in the room or she's gonna scratch the door okay sorry about that guys all right so you have the wheel of fortune here so love is a big part of things here for some of you i feel like love is tied into your finances as well i've already said that but i also feel like maybe you and a partner that you're joining forces with have something that you need to do that's very fortunate for you maybe this is a person that you were supposed to join in with to do um very powerful things with okay just just saying that Wheel of Fortune card is pretty heavy, but I did want to show you guys something before I got sidetracked by my bossy dog. The horse moving forward, Princess, um, the Prince of Wands, a chariot looking energy, and then literally the chariot. I was saying this looks like a chariot energy, and then there's the chariot. I really wish I would have did these earlier, but look, I've been going through some things, y'all. All right, anyway, so chariot, time to move forward, and you're, you're triumphant, so this looks, this is a yes leo okay anyway i'm not even going to sit there and clear i'm not clarifying it i'm not this is so positive i mean if you want to look for something negative in it that's fine i mean if you don't want this person maybe this is someone who comes in and out you know some people are like this is going to be too positive well look you've seen the cards that came out it's it's been saying it since i've been since i've been pulling these cards the story is already telling me in the past waiting is in the past temperance sitting there pouring into this damn love cup hoping whoever this person is this fire sign or whoever this person is sagittarius they're very fiery whoever they are but whoever they are they may have like leo rising or something um you've been pouring into their love cup for a little minute now and now they finally are like okay i'll move with you you know and here you are with the cat right here 
pulling the lead so it's really you it's really up to you leo i feel like you are the one really pushing this along and it's not saying that the person isn't pursuing you but you are really setting the tone is what i'm saying because it's either you're dealing with the fiery energy or, or you're pulsating throughout this reading it's a lot of fire here okay um and leo you're very it's very easy for you to to um flick between aries and sagittarius you are both of them really in a sense combined so yeah pop and month for love okay some of you are going to be very happy okay very happy in love so don't sweat the small stuff don't sweat the waiting you've already been waiting long this long um i honestly feel like you're going to get you're not going to get i fully what you want i don't feel like this is ten of cups ten of pentacles picket white fence for some of you it could be a wedding but i'm not seeing that in a sense or it could be someone asking for an engagement it could be that but i'm not feeling like this is the finish line i feel like this is a triumph in a long battle or um in a in a story it's like a it's like a triumph because you still have the chariot the chariot means you're ready to move forward but it doesn't mean that the battle is over you get what i'm saying all right but leos we are the warriors of love <laughs> everybody talks about that leo love okay so it's not it's not a bad thing for you to be the lo loving force in your relationship sorry guys that was my dog all right so we've got healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so for some of you what i said about your family i feel like really is holding true especially with this wheel of fortune i i know this sounds crazy right but for some of you this person that you're with it's like your ancestors want you to be with this person to do something with them maybe have a child to join the bloodlines or something if you think that deep but I, that wheel of fortune card really talked to me a lot i really got a lot from you and i'm really getting ancestral things for you it's a person that i'll say this you're fated to be with them okay some of you Saturn retrogrades out there specifically I'm talking to people who have in a sense lived this lifetime before or were learning a similar lesson in a lifetime before you may have already met this person in a lifetime before and the person you're dealing with you feel as though you've known them and for instance um, your families get along very well or there's like a very familiar or family energy this is no mistake don't think because this is a card that oh what does this have to do with family your family and your subconscious are really what fuels your drive for love and why you love and how you love so if there is a family issue that you're not discussing as to why you're attracted to the person you're attracted to maybe you know that's not going to shine through so some of you i'm going to be honest with you some of you it's ego because all this fire here you both probably have like really fiery temperaments or very pride for ego based people um so just admitting to each other how you feel or someone actually making that step forward i don't feel like it's so much you making a step forward i feel as though it's this person finally admitting how they feel about you um finally giving you that that um you're finally reaping the benefits of pouring into this person's cup i feel you feel like you've gotten somewhere put it that way and it's been for a while that you felt you weren't okay you also have trust at the bottom of the deck, okay? So this situation is calling for you to have faith. That's also talking about patience, which we already know that fire signs, we, I don't know about all that, but I feel like it's you're not gonna have to wait too long. You're gonna feel more positive about this connection by the end of November, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and shut down, Leos. I hope you enjoyed the reading and I will see you for the next reading in November. Bye.